Hey guys, it's Tony. Today I'm going to be reviewing and doing an install on the SanDisk micro SD card, 64 gig with the adapter. Um, the reason that I got this is I've got a Fire tablet here, um, the Fire 8, and it's set up for kids. It actually came with um, this case. Um, I have it for, I have two of them actually for my twin boys. And it came with about 27 gig of internal memory. Um, but after they start downloading a bunch of games and everything, um, the memory runs out pretty quick. So I wanted to install the SanDisk, and they say this is made specifically for um, to fit in the Fire um, Tablet 8. Um, it does come with an adapter, as you can see here, but just looking at the slot, I think that the, the actual card itself should fit into that slot. So I wanted to kind of take you through the install process um, so you can see how that works. Um, and the formatting process is from, from what I understand, you've got to format the, the disc. You can't just stick it in and have it plug and play work. You've got to format it as well. So I do want to take you guys through that. So, um, so let's get started on the process. Okay, so the Fire 8, um, if you look at the tablet on the upper right hand side, you're going to see a little tab here like this. Okay, um, That tab underneath it is, and you can just lift this up with your fingernail, pull it aside, is where the, um, the card inserts. So as you can see, it is set up for the micro size. Okay, And um, we shouldn't have any problems getting that in there. Now, one thing you do want to be careful of is to orient the card correctly. Uh, when it comes to inserting this. Um, you don't want to put it in the wrong way and press too hard. Um, I've kind of like gently tried a couple different sides and with the chip facing to the back of the tablet seems to be the way that this goes. So you just very gently insert the card and then press down until it clicks. All right, and then you can close close this down. Um, I have pointy fingers. If you feel like your finger is too big or you're not able to press that card down until it clicks down into the slot, you might want to try like just a tip of a screwdriver or something like that that you can use to gently press that down. Now, once you've got that installed, um, you do want to go over to the tablet here on the side wake it up, okay, and then um, once you have the, the screen open, you go down to settings, and then storage, okay, and then there's a setting here that says format as internal storage. You will not see that option there um, if you don't have the SD card installed correctly. There's also under that um, erase SD card so that's deleting all the data on the SD card. This is a brand new card, so I should not have to worry about doing that. So I'm going to format as internal storage. That way it will store anything automatically to this card as an extension of the memory that's on the, the computer, the tablet itself. So let's go ahead and do that. Format and erase. And it will take that through that process. Now, as it's taking it through the process, one thing I do want to point out is it tells you do not remove the card during this process. That is important. Um, it did not take very long. It probably took about 30 seconds to format the card. And then the next page that you get is move content to SD card. Um, to use the SanDisk card to store media content such as files, photos, and videos, you'll need to move the content. Um, you can do this now or in the settings, um, do it later in the settings storage. This will take approximately nine minutes and will free up 5.8 gigabyte of internal device storage. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and move it now and let that process continue. Okay, so there you have it. It took about 10 minutes or so for all of the files to uh, move over to the new SD card internally, um, but you get a message afterwards that says your S card, SD card is ready to use, your content was moved successfully. So you go ahead and hit done, and that is it. Um, it says SD card 
55 gig are free of 62.61 gig. I'm sure that the, um, the system files represent the difference between 62 and 64. Um, so I'm sure that's what that is. And then uh, you've got apps that shows here, 65 apps available. So pretty simple to use. By the way, after I moved all the apps over, it freed up 6.76 gigs of internal storage. So there is still some stuff, of course, on the internal storage, but it looks like um, some of the apps that were moved over um, were the downloaded apps. Um, so freed up quite a bit. So all in all, looks like it worked out pretty well. It was a pretty easy install process and uh, looks like it's gonna work out pretty well. So I will post another video just after using it for a while just to show um, how it functions, how it responds um, as an external card. But overall, um, I think we're in good shape. So I hope you found this review to be helpful.